all peasants stand at attention, your king has arrived. Yes, this is the Arlis Deca King Cubbo Pack exclusive to Target. Unboxing time! Here we are, like father and son, Decker King Cubbo and small, normal sized King Cubbo. Let's see how this royal family rolls. And there you go, royal crowns for both of you. New King Cubbo is actually very different from the normal King Cubbo. You can see this King Cubbo has a beautiful gold band around its jaw and a little gold pendant. It's official, the king is dead, long live the king. Or actually, better yet, long live the queen. Yeah. And don't forget that these are Target exclusive Bakugan, so you can only find them in Target stores and online. The King Cubbo Deca Pack comes with this awesome borderless character card and an exclusive gate card in the Cubbo gate card set. This art is Cubbo at his most fearsome, and it's an incredible gate card for Pyrus, Ventus, and Aralus combo teams. That poor Mantonoid, where is he even going to go? You scare me sometimes, Cubbo. You scare me. And as always, my absolute favorite part of these Cubbos is that all of these hat pieces are removable, and the Deca King Cubbo is no exception, so we can take this Diamond Dragonoid X Treteris, add that sweet crown, and then we can take the Baku Gear from the exclusive Deca Feral set. This is the greatest thing I've ever made. <laughs> I've been itching to finally open one of these guys. So now that it's right in front of me, I can't wait any longer. Let's just get right to it. All right, here he is, Deca Diamond Dragonoid. Here's a closed core Diamond Dragonoid, and here's an open core Diamond Dragonoid. Notice anything different here? like so much bigger. He's probably like, uh, I don't know, five million times bigger, I think. As I said before, a jumbo Bakugan deserves a jumbo Baku core. Here we've got that beautiful Bakugan Battle Planet logo, never hurts to stay on brand. And on the back we have the beautiful Diamond Dragonoid art. For the normal deck of Bakugan, you're going to be finding their character card artwork, but since Diamond Bakugan are evolutions, you instead have the Evo card artwork. This jumbo Baku core isn't just for show, it actually does function as a normal Baku core. But before we test it out, I just want to show you guys how huge this thing is. Look! It's like, what? Now, since this is a deck of Bakugan, the brawl is especially big. These guys, it's Bakugan brawl. But for this guy, Bakugan brawl! Finally! I mean, <laughs> awesome, first try! Here's Deca Diamond Dragonoid in all his glory. Get a good look, because I don't know if you'll ever see him in person. He's, he's pretty much Diamond Dragonoid, but he's way, way bigger. I seriously cannot stress how big this guy is. He may not be usable in a normal brawl because of how big he is, but if you're a Bakugan collector, if you're a Mega Baku fan, you're a Deca Baku fan, then this guy belongs right on your shelf next to the rest of your Bakugan collection. Why? Because he's huge, that's why. He's just so awesome. Bigger is always better, and that definitely applies to the Deca Bakugan. Let's take another look at this Diamond Baku core, and it actually works with the normal Bakugan too. I mean, Baku cores are Baku cores, magnets are magnets, so why not test out a little Bakugan brawl? He's looking pretty slick, especially when placed next to Deca Diamond Dragonoid. Now, this is a cute, happy little family here, big family, same thing, but let's bring in the normal Deca Dragonoid just for another comparison. Here you can see this is the red plastic, the orange, blah, 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 but man, it really shows off just how amazing the Diamond Bakugan look. When you put them side by side, it is clear just how cool the Diamond Bakugan are. The green deco applied on Diamond Dragonoid's core cell really pops on the Diamond version compared to the normal version, though the normal version is still pretty sweet as well. And when we turn them around, you gotta appreciate the inverted colors applied to really make the diamond version stand out next to the original. Even when placed side by side, they are clearly two different Bakugan, in case you 
couldn't tell just from the plastic. That's about it when it comes to this DECA Diamond Dragonoid, but he does come with the Diamond Dragonoid card in case you were curious. These guys don't come with character cards even when they're the normal versions, but they do come with their action cards. They aren't the jumbo cards, but if you're looking for jumbo cards... Well, we've got those too. Big Brawls, Big Bakugan. All new DECA Bakugan are rolling in. And this time, you get two Bakugan fused into one huge, multicolored fusion Deca Bakugan. Today, we'll be looking at three of the newest additions to my collection. We'll start off with the Baku Fusion Classic, Pyrosex Darkest Dragonoid Treteris. Dan's fearsome partner Bakugan has fused with Lightning's newest fighter to form this punchy, bitey combo. All the coolest details are proudly featured thanks to Deca Bakugan's enormous size. And the sheer number of colors here makes this the most vibrant Deca Dragonoid yet. He's big, tall, and ready to brawl. Double Tar Fusion Ventus X Heos Maxitar Zentar leaps into action to claim his place as the tallest Deca Bakugan yet. And when Deca Bakugan are already way bigger than normal ones, that's pretty big. I love the white Heos accents on the deep Ventus green, something we can only see with the power of Baku Fusion. The large Deca forms give these colors a real presence. You gotta check these Deca Fusion Bakugan out in person if you can. They're even cooler up close. Lastly, we've got the only single faction fusion out there. Darkest X Darkest Nilius Enoch. Magnus has unlocked the power of single faction fusion to create a terrifying power you'll see the secrets of soon in the Bakugan Armored Alliance animation. Epic Evil Wings, a massive stature to tower over his minions, and a double darkest faction stamp. This is a seriously unique fusion Bakugan, so make sure to appreciate it fully with the collectible DECA version. That's it for today's DECA Spotlight. Which Bakugan fusion was your favorite? Dragonoid and Treteris, Maxitar and Zentar, or Nilius and Enoch? All of these Bakugan we're using are giant mega Deca Bakugan. 10 million times bigger than a normal Bakugan. I am here with... Richard. Richard. He is a new designer at Spin Master that is working on some Bakugan stuff. We're Bakugan brawlers, so the best way to get to know him is with a Bakugan brawl. And since new Deca Bakugan, like Arlis Dragonoid, the Ultra Rare Diamond Dragonoid, Mantanoid, Gorthion, and so many more are rolling onto store shelves right now or very soon from now, depending on the region that you're in, I figure what better time to do an amazing Deca Bakugan brawl than now. We're just going to play it like a normal toy battling game so it's super easy, super accessible to anybody, whether they love Bakugan or have never heard of it before. I'm going to place the first Baku core, but since these Baku cores simply have character art on one side and the logo on the other, we are going to take a normal Baku core and place it underneath and that way, I mean, you, you know what this one's going to be, but we'll have a secret effect underneath the character, and then when we roll our Bakugan on top, we will flip the Deca Baku core over along with the Baku core underneath it and get its effect. Since we're already going wild and playing with things that aren't even meant to be played with, then I felt like, hey, how could I not use the Deca Bakugan character cards that come with the deluxe card packs from the original Bakugan Battle Brawlers TCG set that came out back in January. If you've got Bakugan Resurgence, in your area, then you can even use the Jumbo Gorthion character card, though things like Maxitar Ultra obviously can't be used since we're only doing core Deca Bakugan. Once you've got your hide matrix set up, then you're ready to jump right into the Bakugan Brawl. It's nice and easy, especially when you're playing with Deca Bakugan. Honestly, I think it's a great way to introduce players to the game, even if it's a bit unconventional, because rolling and landing the Deca Bakugan transformations are pretty easy. Uh, I, I hope. <laughs> So Richard, what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of your Bakugan. You can choose any of those three that you want. Uh, it really doesn't matter as long as they're closed. But since I'm starting off with my Dragonoid, why not start off with your Nilius? Good guys versus bad guys here. Yeah. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl! If both players miss, then you simply grab your Bakugan and re-roll. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl! Oh! <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, no! My magnet, I can see it, is here. It's like maybe 
10 degrees too high up to be activated by the Jumbo Baku Core. Luckily for Richard, he wins his very first brawl because if one Bakugan opens and the other doesn't transform at all, then <laughs> this guy's in the brawl and this guy's sitting on the bench. I mean, he automatically loses. He didn't even show up to the fight. Come on, Dragonoid. This is the simple toy battling game, so we're just gonna keep brawling. It's non-stop action here. No thinking required, which is my favorite kind of action. So just grab another Bakugan and let's get brawling. Let's do it. Three, two, one, Bakugan brawl. Yeah! Woo, let's go. Okay, so I didn't pick up a Bakugan, which is not really, yeah, woo, let's go, but you did, so let's see what bonus you get. Simply flip over your Baku core and, whoa, the deck of Bakugan's magnet can actually like pick up the small Baku core too? Put the, magnets are amazing technology. I love this game, this is awesome. So you have 300 B power plus 600 B power. My Arlis Dragonoid only has 400 B power. Since I lost the brawl here, I gotta fold my Dragonoid back up, which is very, very sad because whoever opens all three of their Bakugan first wins the brawl. Richard, you're one brawl away from winning the entire, the big brawl. Woo! I can't wait to win. All right, with Arliss Dragonoid failing me, it's time to bring back in the classic, Dragonoid himself. Let's prepare for what could, but hopefully won't be, the final brawl. Three, two, one, Bakugan brawl! What? No! No! <laughs> you won your first brawl and I didn't even get to win, and win a single round? Seriously? Oh man, Beginner's so luck. you picked up the Jumbo Baku Core, but not the Small Baku Core, but like I said, the intention of this rule set is just that you have to pick up the Jumbo Baku Core to get the Small Baku Core's bonus, mm -hmm. since the fact that you can technically pick up the Small Baku Core is cool, but it's really difficult to do. So as long as you get the Big Baku Core, don't worry guys, you do get the bonus. Unfortunately for Richard here, the bonus is minus 200 B power, but since I didn't even open up, that doesn't matter. He may only have 300 B power instead of 500, but he automatically wins the battle, which means he wins the big brawl. Good game, Richard. Let's go. Damn. I mean, it was a bad game because I lost, but. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, Brawlers. I hope that you enjoyed this cool deck of Bakugan Brawl. Let me know in the comments if you guys try this out because this was super fun. I don't really like the losing part, but the big brawl part, heck yes. Don't forget that brand new deck of Bakugan like Diamond Dragonoid, Armorless Dragonoid, and Darkest Mantanoid will be on shelves very soon. So keep checking your local retailers because you do not want to miss Diamond Dragonoid. Diamond Bakugan are only produced in a set percentage of the overall Bakugan of their kind produced. And there are a lot less deck of Bakugan being created than normal sized Bakugan because, well, <laughs> they're a lot bigger. Deck of Diamond Dragonoid is gonna be one of the hardest to get, one of the most sought after Bakugan collector's items released this year. So make sure you can get them for yourself, for a friend, for Christmas, or for both. Though, I know that if I only find one in stores, I would certainly not be sharing. Full episodes of Bakugan are now streaming on Netflix. Watch more videos below.